Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave. And I'm Anthony. And in this video, we'll be talking about the possible Boba Fett uh, spin-off movie that was announced by The Wrap today. And I know Anthony has a few things to say uh, about The Wrap and kind of its uh, validity as far as confirming a film is. Uh, do you want to go ahead and explain? Well, the thing I have to say about this is um, I'm not saying that this movie... Uh, isn't going to happen. I think that this is actually true information. Uh, it's just that it didn't come straight from Disney. It came from the sources uh, at the rap, and the way they uh, said everything made it just it made it sound a little weird. They said that it was going to take place in its own separate universe uh, that doesn't have anything to do with the Force Awakens or uh, Episode Eight or Nine, which. I take it as kind of like this is just a, a prequel, so that's why they're saying it's in a different universe. But um, they also say that it's like an origin story, and it's really just vague because we we already have the Boba Fett origin. I think that they're referring to like the origin of him becoming a bounty hunter. But the only problem I have with this is it's just all very vague, and uh, there's barely any information about it. And um, but I still think it's if this is true, which I'm pretty sure it is, it's I, I really like it. I think that this is a cool idea. I'd like to see Boba Fett on screen and have his own movie. I think that it's pretty cool news. Yeah, I think that when they say uh, different universe, that it's not connected to uh, episode 7, 8, or 9, I feel like that's worded a bit confused, uh, like strangely. Um, I think that the what they meant is just straight off it's not connected to seven eight or nine yeah. i definitely think this is in the same universe as what we've seen before um just that it's um not gonna have a direct impact on those movies which you know what i, I don't think it should uh if it's well, i a, don't think it should either but you know what it might be if when they say different universe maybe they're saying that the different universe is the space between three and four and maybe Rogue One doesn't even take place during that time period. Well, you know what, what other mean? time period would it take place in? I mean, we clearly see the Death Star. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, it would take place probably before the events of... Uh, or maybe it just takes place during 4. I'm not sure. But uh, it's, I'm, it's I would just be so willing strange. to bet it's between 3 and 4. Rogue yeah, One. But uh, I just don't know why they'd word it like that, where it's in a different universe. And yeah. you could tell that it's clearly... That's not taken from any Disney thing. Disney would never say that. Yeah. You know, they're very aware that fans like the everything's in the same universe type of, type deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they own <laughs> Marvel and they've had yeah. uh, great success with it. But... Um, other than that, there's more interesting stuff about this news, uh, especially since Josh Trank just left this movie. He was going to direct the second anthology film and he just dropped out like a week ago. And that's mostly from what I've heard. It's not from the work he's been producing, because from what I've heard, he's been doing pretty good. Chronicle was uh, really a great movie, and Fantastic Four is looking to shape but to be a pretty decent movie. I just heard that he's pretty hard to work with, and that's why they're not keeping him on. But, you know, that's another thing. they got to find a director for this movie now, too. Yeah, well, I'm sure, I'm sure that... Uh... That wouldn't be super hard. Like, I know we were talking about people before, and I, I said uh, Matthew Vaughn would be a great director for this. Um, yeah. If you guys haven't seen Kingsman, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen Kick-Ass and um, uh, X-Men First Class. But if you guys haven't mm -hmm. seen Kingsman, I actually think Kingsman is his best movie. Um, that movie is fun. Uh, it has emotional t uh, notes that it hits in it, and it hits it very effectively. And Boba Fett should be a fun character. I mean, he's a bounty hunter. He should be awesome. Yeah. He uh, should be fun. He should be dark. And I think Matthew Vaughn could do that darkness. But it's, you know, I'd like to see him as a, a fun character to just watch on screen, too. I don't think he should just all be dark. Yeah, no. Uh, I know the Boba Fett that we've gotten before is pretty serious. But in the comics and stuff, he actually has more of a... I, he's kind of like the anti Han Solo. He really yeah, that's is. That's exactly what I was just going to say. He's like a, a mirror of Han Solo. Yeah, just. You know, he, 
He's he's like the same guy on the different side. Yeah, exactly. He's uh he's awesome. He's a womanizer. Uh, he's just it's a great character. And I mean, for this to be an origin, I think that uh, if Clone Wars still is canon, we kind of get the origin of Boba Fett as goes as far as it goes to become of him becoming a bounty hunter. It's kind of just explained that um, Jango's friends just adopted him straight into it as a young age. But I think, and of course he's a leader in the Clone Wars, for, for those of you that watch the Clone Wars, as a small kid, Boba Fett is still the leader of a bounty hunter group. Um, but I kind of want this movie, if it's kind of an origin, I definitely want him to get the Mandalorian armor in this. Uh, they might change it up. I mean, it could be his dad's armor. It could be something else. But I think that's a must. Um, I think that this should be him rising to prominence of being one of the big bounty hunters. I think that's what the movie should be about. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, and I I have a, a question. Do you think that it's possible that this movie would be in a different universe and they'd ignore the history in the Clone Wars and retell his story? Do uh, you think they'd do that? I think the, the movies will definitely take precedence over Clone Wars. Uh, as far as what's gonna happen there, um, but I, I don't know. I mean, they've explained that Clone Wars is canon. Uh, they've explained that Rebels is canon as well. Uh, I don't see them pushing past it because Clone Wars is kind of takes place as Boba Fett is a kid. I mean, yeah, um, yeah, and I don't think that they're gonna have a kid in this. No way. But, um. Yeah, I guess, like, uh, I know you haven't really watched Clone Wars, but it's kind of like he's, um, he goes after Mace Windu to start with, and then he kind of leads his own bounty hunter group. He's not in very many episodes at all, but it's really, he doesn't make a big impact on the universe as a whole. They just, we just follow him, um, and Ventress in an episode where Ventress is getting into bounty hunting, and, uh, Boba Fett is kind of her gateway into that. And uh, he's with, like, Dengar and um, Bosk and, yeah, just a whole bunch of people like that. Um, and those are great supporting characters, too. I mean, Dengar and Bosk, just right off the top, are awesome characters to have uh, as a supporting cast. They're recognizable as well. Uh, I think that would definitely be cool. But, yeah, as far as Clone Wars goes, it's just, like, one isolated mission that he's in. It's not, like, a big... Uh, it wouldn't be hard to sidestep, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think that this has potential to be a really, really good movie, possibly one of the best. Boba Fett's interesting, and also, at the same time, being very iconic, and we knowing very, very as an audience, knowing very little about him as far as the movies go. That's something that's rare, um, and I think that it's going to work out really well. So do you have any final thoughts? Um, my final thought is, I hope they don't bring him back to life after, uh, after Return of the Jedi and do a sequel that's between Episode 6 and Episode 7. That would drive me crazy. Well, I mean, he, he's been they say told origin, in the novels. Who knows if this is true. Yeah, in the novels, um, in some of the comic books, it's clearly explained that he was able to escape, escape the pit. Yeah, I know, but I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> I would be fine with that, but I don't. it doesn't look like the, they're going that way if they say origin story. Also, Disney should learn not to do prequels. I'm fine with the prequels. We already know Star Wars prequels are a bad idea. Well, this is different from a prequel because it's a solo character. You're not trying to explain an entire backstory. The backstory is blank. Yeah. The cards aren't already set. Like, um, for the for the first movie, it's like, okay, you have the prequels, but there's certain uh, plot points that need to happen. Boba Fett doesn't have that. Yeah. That's why I think it it's and, not going to have that problem. It's like, okay, you have to get Anakin in the suit. Um, Obi-Wan and Anakin have to have a falling out. Uh, and, uh, the twins have to be born. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. I have uh, one more question, too. Do you think that if they do this Boba Fett movie and it works well, do you think it should be the type of movie that has a sequel? 
or do you um, think it should just be a one-off? I would say keep it a one-off, um, just because it's these anthology movies should only be one, and I mean Rogue Squadron or excuse me Rogue One is gonna be like a solo movie as far as we know because yeah. if it's not a solo movie then there's gonna be a big jump in between where the sequels are. Yeah. Um, I definitely think that if this Boba Fett movie does come to fruition, and I think it will, it's going to stand on its own, which I prefer. I, I really think it's interesting with these anthology movies because it's like they're all guaranteed not to have sequels. And yes. that's really weird from what I take as such a huge franchise for them to come out and you know have these separate stories, these spinoff movies in between – you know, these, you know, the main trilogy, it's almost as if, do you think that maybe in the future, once all three of these anthology movies are done, that they'll do the sequels for them? Because I don't, I don't want sequels for them. I think this is a great idea to just do these one-offs, but it's so unique that I almost feel like it's bound to happen. No, actually, I, I don't see them doing any sequels to this. And uh, I agree with you. They need to keep it like this because... Um, the best story has a beginning, a middle, and the end, and um, in a way, instead of doing a trilogy, uh, it, it's easier to confine it to confine it to one movie. Yeah. Because at the end, if you're looking uh, at like two or three movies, you got a whole lot of stuff. And I mean, I think this is a smart move by Disney because um, if one of them doesn't work, they don't have to count on a sequel. Um, yeah, that's but, a good point. Yeah, I mean, and these two movies taking place before Episode 7, apparently, uh, it really, like, I think it's perfect for uh, just one movie, but if you have a trilogy, it's going to start spilling over into more of Episode 7, and that's not what they want. Yeah. Um, so I'm fine with just one movie. That's what I prefer. I want to get hyped up for my one Boba Fett movie, yeah. and my one Rogue One movie, and my one question mark uh, anthology Our movie. Our one Mace Windu spinoff movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, leave your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys like the idea of a Boba Fett anthology movie? Uh, would you have preferred something else? What do you think about the director leaving? What is your choice for a director? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day.